Hi, this is Regina with the Regina Drury Real Estate Group in Wilmington, North Carolina. Did you know that you could purchase real estate inside of your IRA? Meaning that when you purchase a house, you can use your IRA funds to buy the house and the owner of your house would be your IRA. So let's say using simple numbers that you wanted to buy a $100,000 house and you had $100,000 cash in your IRA, you could purchase the house in the name of your IRA and so the IRA would be the owner of your house. Pretty cool, right? Well, here's something else that you might not know. There's a thing called a non-recourse loan. There's about at least two banks in the United States. I have a phone number for one of them if you'd like it. But there's a, a way that you can get a non-recourse loan for the house that you want to buy. So, for example, using that simple numbers of a $100,000 house, uh, the, the bank that I know of, you need as little as 30% down. So to buy the $100,000 house, you would just need $30,000 in your IRA account, and the other $70,000 would come from the loan from the non-recourse bank. Now, the payment for the loan is paid by your IRA account. When you receive rent, the rent goes into your IRA account. So uh, pretty much you have to think of it as the IRA is the owner of this house until at some point when you sell the house and then, you know, you take the money. So it's pretty cool because um, with this non-recourse loan, sometimes, you know, maybe somebody has a debt to income ratio or maybe they're self-employed and they can't normally get a loan on, you know, through the normal process. Well, I have ran into some clients that were able to use this program for a non-recourse loan to be able to purchase investment property inside of their IRA. You know, the, owning a house inside of your IRA is a lot different than owning stock because, well, let's face it, you know, when you own a house, you can rent it, you can do a lease to own, you can sell it, you know. Uh, when you own a stock, you can't really do a lease to own, can you? Uh, you can't exactly rent a stock, right? So when you own a stock, you're just guessing that the value is going to go up. But when you own real estate, well, real estate's pretty cool because you can hold it, and while you hold it, you have rent coming in, right? Pretty cool. So if you'd like more information about this IRA and how to purchase a house using an IRA, well, I've personally done it myself, and so I have some context to help you with that, and I can walk you through the process. Uh, there's a couple of different IRA options. One is a regular IRA that you can hire a company. I have a few companies in mind that I can recommend to you, um, where any house that you want to buy, you tell that company you want to buy that house, and then they sign the documents for you. They send the funds to the attorney's office. And, of course, everything's normal. You still do your home inspections, your appraisal, your termite inspection. Everything is normal, but the only difference is, you know, the company that's providing the money is the IRA company. Well, and then in addition to that, if you're interested, there's um, this thing called a non, um, I'm sorry, a uh, self-directed IRA. Self-directed IRA means that you basically set up an LLC. Again, I can help you with companies that, that can help you with this, but, but you set up an LLC that um, you then can go to the bank and your IRA funds get sent to that LLC. Again, this LLC is owned by your IRA company. And you then um, go to closing and you sign the check yourself for the house that you're going to purchase inside of your IRA. So keep in mind, this is something for if you're looking to collect the rent and the value inside of your IRA. I tell you, it's really great is if you could set up like a Roth IRA so that way you pay the taxes just in the beginning. And then as you know, you get rent and your, the value of your property increases, you don't have to pay taxes on that in the future. It's a pretty cool way to, you know, to build your retirement account for in the future. So if you'd like any more um, information about this or you're curious, you know, there's not too many real estate agents in our area that have familiarity and who have done this themselves. I'm very, very knowledgeable about using your IRA to purchase homes and also using a non-recourse loan. So leveraging your IRA with getting a loan so that your IRA only has to be the down payment. Uh, I'm very familiar with all these different options. So I'd love to help you. Again, I'm Regina with the Regina Jury Real Estate Group in Wilmington, North Carolina. Please feel free to send me a message if I can help you further. Talk to you soon.